another success ladder is here up with another video on least common multiples and today we will see how we can find multiples and common multiples for the given numbers so let's begin the question is what is common between the shape of door and the shape of the board like here as shown here the first picture is of a door and the second picture is of a board so now you need to tell what is common and what is same in both the pictures so here is the answer as we can see that both the door and the board have four sides and four corners so we can say that four is the common numbers in both the pictures so four is the common numbers so today we will see how we can find multiples and common multiples for the given numbers so yes the aim of today's class is the same the students will be able to find the multiples and common multiples for two numbers that are given let's start so the question is find the multiples and common multiples of a numbers so here is a question card so two parts are given for this question the first one is 7 and 14 and the other one is 6 and 15 now we will see how we can find the multiples and common multiples for these two questions so for that first we need a hundred chart to do the questions so we can easily take a printout or we can draw also a hundred chart so that it will be more clear that how uh, we got the answer so this is a hundred chart so in this we have to draw a square on every seventh number and color every 14th number on this chart so it will be good if you are having this hundred chart so side by side you can try i'm repeating it again you have to draw a square on every seventh number so how can we find every seventh number we can either do skip counting or uh, we can also try doing with tables so basically tables are skip counting only yeah so we can do skip counting for the number seven we can draw a square in it and for every 14th number we have to color it you can use any color so in both the cases we can do skip counting just like this so see these are the squares with gray color i have drawn so 7 14 21 28 35 42 49 56 63 70 77 84 91 and 98 so as you can see that all the numbers that are shaded with gray color that are the multiples of 7 yes so we can also write the numbers that are shaded with gray color so as we can see the pattern that is followed here it shows the table of seven now coming on to the next it's for the number 14 we have to color it so i've used blue color to color for the numbers 14 so it is 14 28 42 56 then 70 then 84 and 98 so that means they are the multiplication table for the number 14 all these that are shaded with blue color so they are multiplication table for the number 14 that's that means we can say that they all are the multiples of 14 multiples means in common language we can say the multiplication table for any number it is called its multiples for example if i say multiples of 7 so multiples of 7 are 7 14 21 28 means all the numbers that comes in the table they all becomes the uh, multiples of that given number so write the numbers that are both colored and shaded with two colors so now what we can say these numbers that are colored also and are shaded also like 14 28 42 56 70 84 and 98 these are colored with both the these are shaded with both the colors gray as well as blue so we can call them as common multiples 
common means the numbers that are coming in both it means the sh that share the same table so 14 so 14 is the common multiple of 7 as well as 14 because the number 14 comes in the table of 7 also and 14 also so just keep in mind that multiples we call multiples the numbers that are coming in a particular table all the numbers are become that multiple now for the next one which numbers did you mark for 7 and 14 which numbers which common multiples did you find for 7 and 14 so first we need to uh, tell the numbers that we mark and then the common multiples although we have discussed but have a look here that means the common multiples of 7 are 7 14 21 28 35 and 42 so as we can see the pattern these all are the table of 7 only these the uh, numbers comes in table of 7 so it they all becomes multiples of 7 now for the next one the number multiples of 14 so 14 28 42 56 70 84 98 the, it comes in they all numbers comes in the multiplication table of number 14 so they all are the multiples of number 14 so these are the multiples and now we will look that what numbers are there that are coming in both 7 as well as 14 so the number that i shaded with green color here like 14 28 and 42 these three numbers are coming in both so they both becomes the common multiple for 7 and 14. So the common multiples of 7 and 14 are 14, 28 and 42. Now exactly just like this we can try for the another number that was the question number B. We have to again take a 100 chart and color every 6th number and we have to circle every 15th number on that number chart. So this is a number chart, 100 chart we can say. So we have to color every 6th number. That means the table of 6, we have to color it. And for every 15th number, that means the table of 15, we have to color it, uh, we have to circle it. So just like this. So for uh, the table of 6, I have colored it with green color. And for the table of 15, I have to make a circle. So... 6, 12, 18, 24, 36, 42 and so on. They all are the multiples of the number 6. Because they all comes in table of 6. Just like this for the number 15 I have drawn a circle. So 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. So they all are the multiples of 15. Now write the numbers that are colored and circled also. Now what do we call those numbers that are colored as well as circle like 30, 60 and 90. These three numbers are there till 100 that are colored and circle also. So that means these three are common multiples of 6 and 15 because it is shaded with green also and it, there is a circle also. Which five numbers did you mark? for 6 and 15 first we need to tell any five numbers that we mark for 6 and 15 then the common multiples we have to find for number 6 and 15 so let's have a look so for the number 6 the multiples are 6 12 18 24 and 30 so like you can see that these are the table of 6 basically and for the number 15 15 30 45 60 and 75 these all are the multiples of 15 so if in short if I say the multiple so multiple just mean the multiplication table. So for example if I take 2 so if I want to find out that what are the multiples of 2 so I will say the table of 2. For example 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 they all are the multiples of 2. Similarly for the number 6 here so multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24 so it basically means the multiplication table. Now the number that are colored and circle that means the common multiple of 6 and 15 are 30, 60 and 90 like we have discussed in the previous slide. The number uh, that are repeating that are coming in both they are the common multiples. Common means the same numbers that are coming in both the tables. So what are the multiples of a number and how many multiples does a number have? 
when we multiply a number with another one number we get its multiple for example if i say the multiple of 2 so multiple of 2 are 2 into 1 that is 2 2 multiply by 2 that is 4 2 multiply by 3 that is 6 it means we are multiplying one number to the another number and we are getting the multiple so the multiple of 2 becomes 2 4 6 8 10 and so on and a number can have unlimited it means infinite multiples so we can extend it to any uh, any further so that they all numbers become its multiples what is the smallest multiple what are the common multiples of two or more numbers so the smallest multiple for any number is the number itself for example if i say multiple of six so multiple of six is starts from the number six only 6 12 18 and so on if i say multiple of 10 so it will also start from 10 10 20 30 because it's basically the table so the smallest multiple for any number is the number itself other numbers are greater than the number rest all the multiples it would be greater than that number only multiples that are common to two or more numbers it means the numbers that are repeating in both we call it as common multiples now this one here you can read this one here it is maria goes swimming on every second day and she goes dancing on every third day on which day of the month does she go for swimming and dancing so here as you can see that we can do skip counting here so for two we can uh, here i have drawn a table here so for swimming 2 4 6 8 they have basically done the skip counting for this number 2 and she goes on dancing on every third day so for third day we can also do skip counting and they have asked on which two days will she uh, do both so we will she go for swimming and dancing both that means we need to find the common multiples for the given numbers so as we can see the number 6 and the number 12 they are the common multiples like here they have asked the common multiples for the multiples for the number 4 and 6 so basically we can just write first the table of 4 then we can write the table of 6 and then we can circle the numbers that are coming in both and we can uh, find the common multiples so below here is also an example it is there there was to find the lcm that is least common multiple for 9 and 15 so till here the steps are the same first we have to find the multiples first we have to write the multiples of both the numbers and then we have to circle the common multiples common multiples mean the multiples the numbers that are coming in both and out of these the number the common multiple that is least it becomes least common multiples now let us see one example with the help of master question and that is for today the question is what are the multiples of 20 and 25 first we have to write the multiples of 20 then we have to write the multiples of 25 and then we have to find the common multiples for both the numbers okay so basically there are three parts to this question in first we have to find the multiples then we have to find the common multiples and then at last we have to find the least common multiple the common multiple which is the smallest one that is the least one let's see so the numbers the multiples of 20 are so 20 40 60 80 100 and so on they all are multiples of 20 you can see from the pattern it it means it is a multiplication table for the number 20 for the another number multiples of 25 multiples of 25 are 25 50 75 100 and so on so this is basically table of 25 now the numbers that are shaded with green they are common multiple so common multiple here are 100 and 200 and now out of these two which one is the least 100 so it becomes least common multiple so that means least common multiple means out of le common multiple we have to find out the least one so what did you learn today
so we have learned today to find the multiples the common multiples and at last we have learned to find the least common multiples and we also call it as lcm that is least common multiple so today keywords are first is common multiple like how we have find first we have to write the multiples and of two, uh, of two numbers or three numbers and then we have to uh, see that what numbers are coming in all the uh, all the numbers then multiples that are same in both the numbers and the second one is least common multiples so after finding the common multiples we can see that which number is the least now this you can do it for as a practice you can do this this worksheet thank you everyone that's all for today and for more such knowledgeable videos please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel